Hi, and welcome to the Basics Tutorial Series. My name is Helena, and I'll be taking you through how to download and open IDCube Lite. To start, go to your browser and type idcubes.com. Navigate to IDCube Lite. You can either click Jump to Download, or you can click Download IDCube Lite here on the green icon. This will bring you to our form. Fill out the form below to download IDCube Lite. By downloading IDCube Lite, you are agreeing to the end user licensing agreement. This text is hyperlinked to that agreement. Once you click download, the file will automatically download. Currently, IDCube Lite is only available for Windows 7, 8, and 10. The Mac version is coming soon. Once you click download, as you can see here, IDCube is now downloading. Depending on your internet connection, the download can take around 10 minutes or so. Once your file has downloaded, go ahead and click on it and extract all. Note that once you open the file, you're going to look for the application and click on it. You may get this notification, run anyway. Now you will be given the installer windows. Go ahead and click next. If you would like to add the shortcut to desktop, click that and next. Depending on if you've already installed the MATLAB runtime libraries, you may be getting a notification for that as well. I already have that on my computer, so that's why we don't see that. Once you're done, go ahead and click finish and you'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna to go to my desktop and click on IDCube Lite. This splash screen will come up. Here you have the opening screen to IDCube Lite. You have now successfully downloaded and installed IDCube Lite. As you can see, many of the functions are grayed out. That is because we have not imported or opened a data file. So you may use this data import tab to import files. You may also go to file import and it'll do the similar um, conversion. If you have an RGB image or an image that you've taken with a normal camera or with your cell phone, you can open that. And then if you have a hyperspectral image data that has already been converted to a .mat file type, you may use that. We have example files that you may use. Big leaves, plastic coins, satellite image, Washington University, and farmland and rivers. These have already been converted to the .mat file format. In order to open it, you can just click on it and it will open in your browser and immediately start downloading. Once it's fully downloaded, you can go file, open HSI data, and find it in the downloads folder. You will also have access to any of the help menus that we have. If there's an error, if you'd like to report a bug, a new feature, access to our tutorials, and any of the upgrades we have, becoming a partner and write a review and tell us about your experience. In the other tutorials available through our channel, we will go through the details of how to use each panel and the various functions in the menu bar. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials each week. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.